Okay, so um, I'm now moving on to the front wheel, which is not a slattern and a front one because it's got disc brakes on it. Uh, those of you who have seen previous videos will know that my first back wheel, I messed it up and had to relace it. And for my second back wheel, I had to, I messed that up and had to relace it as well. So this one, I managed to put the spokes in such a place that you couldn't inflate the tire. And this one, I didn't uh, lock them inside each other, meaning that the, the spokes were too long. However, I'm now hopeful that I'm going to lace this in one go. Um, the only potential problem is that I've tidied up my copy of Sheldon Brown's wheel manual. I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to have to do it by myself. Hi, I'm Phil and I'm trying to improve my Brompton. I've cycled about 10,000 miles on my current Brompton. I've lugged it on trains and boats all around the country and I'd like to make it a little bit lighter. I'd like to try and improve the brakes and try and get the gears working a bit differently as well. I'm going to make a few videos as I go along so that you can see what I've done and in case they help anybody else. And if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them in the comments. Okay, with a bit of luck, you're now going to see a little speeded up video, none of which I look confused in. And at the end of it, we're going to have a great new front wheel. Let's give it a go. As before, we've got a rim. I should say we've got a rim. We've got a hub. This is a Bitex road hub. We've got spokes and nipples there. As always, you've got a little bit of synthetic grease, so I can dip the the spokes into. Right. Okay, so I've learned something new here as well. I hope you can see that these are slightly angled in their drilling so that it's easier to work out uh, so that one goes into one side and one on the other. I've not done this before. I feel virtually certain I'm going to be relacing the rim, relacing the rim uh, soon enough. But we're going to give it a go. So I almost hear this from you, but in fact, uh, the first ones I did without warm lacing them, under lacing it, and it's had the same problems I did with the old wheel. So I'm now going to have to take the leading spokes out, bend them round the inside spokes and push them back in again. I don't know if you can see effectively the, the trailing spoke nipples are just so far out, it's not good enough tension in them. So I'm going to try and pull them out using the lacing. Okay, so I'll try and show you what I'm doing here. So effectively, it always looks as if it's going much too far to bend. Uh, you can see there's what? Centimetre difference between the inside and the outside lace. But if you do it in one big go, you can kind of straighten them back out again. So I'm going to give that a go now. So this one is going to go under there and into that hole there. It's going to be, have quite a big bend. The faster you do it, the better. And now you can see it's pretty straight. Same with that one. Same issue with that one. We'll straighten them all out in a bit. Right. 
really. Ah, oh, I've done everything so badly. I need to start again. I basically lace it up one out. Okay, so finally, I've, I think, got this laced up properly with the ability to inflate the tire because there's a nice big gap on that side and also a nice big gap on that side. Uh, it's taken a pretty long time, it'd be fair to say, and now I've got to true it. Okay, so an hour and a half later and the rest, we have finally, I think, got a front wheel built, which I'll show to you now. So the difficulty was, which you can probably see from here, the spokes on this side are much tighter than the ones on this side and that's to cope with the fact that this has got a disc brake mount there. So it took absolutely loads of dishing but it is now true to within I reckon uh, half a millimetre or something like that, a millimetre on both. Okay, we're gonna just weigh it, let's see that. So the weight of the new wheel is... This doesn't have uh, the brake in for the... Sorry, I'm trying to get this straight. Five hundred ninety-three. So the old front wheel, I've got an old one here, feels a bit lighter. Uh, Five hundred ninety-two. So exactly the same, but the new one hasn't got the uh, the brake or the quick release in yet. So I'll have to add that to that. Let's double check. There you go. Maybe a couple of grams lighter. That doesn't have the quick release on yet. Okay, so at last we have got through all the wheels. They haven't yet got tyres or air in them, but we'll come to that in a bit. Finally, next time, we're going to get onto a frame for all these things. Uh, so do click on the like button, if indeed you did like this video. If you want to have a look at the single speed wheel I built last time, click on the left of the screen, or you can click on my bonds to subscribe. Bye.